So you're thinking about moving here to Northwest Florida and you're wondering where the best place to live in the summer is. So maybe you're just gonna come down for the summer, enjoy it, but is this the right place for you? Well, in this video, we're gonna cover the six reasons why it is. So stick around. What's up everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in the beautiful Destin Fort Walton Beach area. If this is your first time to our channel. We do tons and tons of videos about everything you need to know about our area. Now as a military veteran of 14 years and now a military spouse, I've moved tons of places. And every time that I moved somewhere, there was always such a lack of information on where to move to and what to anticipate. That's why we've created this channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, <laughs> hit that little bell so you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Now honestly, we get tons of phone calls, emails, texts, social media messages about what it's like to eat, sleep, work, play, drink in this area and we absolutely love it. I love hearing from you guys. So if you are moving to this area, you got some questions, you need some help, please reach out to myself and my team here. We'd love to help give us a call, text, email, that number, the email you see on the screen. That's the best way to get a hold of us or reach out via social media. Whatever you gotta do, we got your back when moving here to the Destin Fort Walton Beach area. So let's talk about the six reasons Northwest Florida is the perfect place to live in the summer. Or is it? Well, let's talk about it. So Northwest Florida, we consider that, locals call us the Emerald Coast. Why? It's because of that beautiful emerald water that we get to see every day when we're driving to work. Absolutely gorgeous out there, flanked by the white beach sand. Just absolutely gorgeous. So what is considered the Emerald Coast? We're talking anywhere from Pensacola all the way out to Panama City Beach. That's us, that's what you need to know about, all right? So what is the Emerald Coast known for? Well, like I said, beautiful white sand beaches, lots of undeveloped forest areas. When you come in here, you're not going to see Condo City like you would in South Florida, where everything is just high rise condos everywhere. And then there's a beach tucked behind it, right? Now this is nice open area. There are some places where it's a little bit congested, but you're a short drive or just walk sometimes to the most untouched, beautiful beaches, big white sand dunes, just absolutely gorgeous. And you have that good mix of that, plus the forest on the other side, you know, almost feels, feels like a tropical vacation. <laughs> but it is absolutely gorgeous to be out here. Other places that are notable in our area is 30A. Now, if you haven't heard of 30A, we call it Scenic 30A because it's the actual road, 30A, that goes through some of the most affluent places just in the entire state of Florida. Definitely the most here in Northwest Florida. These, these homes, starting price getting into them is at least 1.2 mil. But everything's whitewashed in there or have certain watercolors throughout them. There's actually a town called Watercolors. Uh, absolutely gorgeous out there. They're putting in a 55 plus community out there as well, which is that Margaritaville. Um, lots of lots of good stuff happening throughout there. Very, very affluent, tons of things to do. Just, just great community. You also have Panama City Beach. You might know Panama City Beach from MTV if you remember when they used to play music. Uh, but they would always host spring break down there in Panama City. So that's a whole different feel, whole different crowd. Um, it's, uh, it's different. <laughs> it's kind of the party scene. Uh, Panama City Beach is, is really, really good. It's probably one of the most affordable condo areas that you're going to find in our area. Also, we got Destin is the destination place. I couldn't help but throw a pun in there. Destination place for most people coming here to the Emerald Coast. They'll fly right into Eglin Air Force Base slash Destin Fort Walton Beach Airport. Yes, it is shared, so you get to see some cool airplanes going around. Uh, but they'll come in because you've got the luckiest fishing village right there, Destin, Florida, with Crab Island. If you haven't checked that out, definitely check that out. A great place for the kids, gorgeous place uh, for going out to the beach, just, just absolutely wonderful. 
And then of course you do have Pensacola on the other side of that, which is another smaller city and has all sorts of uh, different things for you to go ahead and experience. And of course, uh, Pensacola Beach, which is just south of Gulf Breeze. And that's another great beach community to go check out. So let's talk about it. Is this the perfect place to live in the summer? Well, let's go through. I've got those six reasons coming up right now. Number one, it's hot. It's really hot, okay? <laughs> but the thing is, is at least here in Northwest Florida, it doesn't feel like you're melting like it does when you're down in Miami and down towards the Florida Everglades. It does get warm, but it's not devastatingly hot all the time. But I will mention, um, I'm, I'm a big uh, <laughs> triathlete. I also run marathons, so I am training during these time periods. And the worst place to be coming is going to be that July, not necessarily, end of July, August, September is where it's really, really hot. And I can remember coming in from a workout, of course you're drenched, you're like, oh God, all right, and then go in, cool down, take a shower, step back out, and then completely drenched again. You had to towel off, I don't know, five times before you stop. So if you're like that, that's, that's it's a little rough, all right? And that's mainly because of the humidity. So it does get, it doesn't seem like it's that hot, you know, we're 88 degrees, something like that. Like it's not pushing 90 or anything like that. It does on occasion, but you'll be in the high 80s, but that humidity is like 90%. And it just it doesn't stop the sweat glands, at least personally. Uh, <laughs> so it's uh, it can get a little rough. However, just like any other place, if you come from a from a cold environment, right, and you were you're in the midst of the cold, you typically run from your heated car to a heated building to another heated building. Like that's that's how you survive. Well, when it gets that when it gets that hot, that's kind of the same thing that you're gonna do. Uh, when you're in Florida is jump to the AC, the AC car, the AC building, da 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 da, right? So there's, there's a lot of ways to escape that. It isn't quite that bad and it isn't ridiculously hot, but it does, it does get hot. Okay, number two is the boating and fishing. That's absolutely world-class, actually been uh, featured in Boating Magazine, Regatta Bay and Destin was actually featured on the front page at one point. Uh, but absolutely wonderful boating out this area. And that's mainly because you do have the intercoastal waterway. Uh, in Destin, you also have Crab Island. If you haven't checked out Crab Island, it's an awesome place to go hang out. If you have a boat, that's the only way to get out there is get out to a boat. And it's not an act, exactly an island, but it's where kind of the, the shore kind of comes up and you're able to anchor in. It's anywhere from ankle deep to, well, anything above that. So they'll go in, tie the boats off together, and this pretty much happens every single day when the weather's nice enough. <laughs> but it's a big party all the time, wonderful place to go. Now there's tons of charter boats too. So you wanna go scuba diving, you wanna go see the dolphins, uh, you wanna just go cruise around there. There's dinner cruises and tons and tons of fishing charters. The fishing is great here, just hands down, really awesome. Of course, you got different tours, uh, and mainly, the, I'm going to say, personally, the boating seems very nice because the water isn't freezing. <laughs> it's almost like bath water sometimes. So getting in and out of the boat, you know, that sort of thing, it's actually really nice when the water feels so good. Okay, number three is you have that relaxed, beachy atmosphere. Uh, nothing quite beats being in Florida. And it's because you're flanked with people that are on vacation. And who's angry on vacation? I don't get it. Um, if they are, they're probably sulking in their room somewhere. Teenagers, right? Anyway, uh, <laughs> this place is going to be awesome uh, when, when you have all these type of people around that just out there having a good time. It is infectious because us locals get that same sort of feeling all the time. Here in Northwest Florida, we also are right under Alabama and Georgia, so we get this Southern charm that comes with it, Southern hospitality on top of this. It's just one of the best places to live in my opinion. So it's just awesome. And going anywhere despite your affluence or whatever, it really doesn't matter. You don't have to dress up anywhere. It's very common to see, heck, even us realtors out there showing million plus properties in shorts and flip flops. I've seen it. Uh, nobody, nobody seems to care. That's the norm and that's the culture here. It's just super, super relaxed. 
All right, and number four, a, you're gonna get a good mix of undeveloped and developed beaches. So some areas are going to have private beaches, and if that's something that you need for yourself, you can totally get that even on the golf side, all right? Uh, but there's also a lot of undeveloped beaches where it's just public access to, and they're not overcrowded, especially the, the vacant parts of it with nothing, no, nothing really close to it, right? You get a good, if you wanna to get to the crowd, you can get to the crowd. But if you wanna walk the beach where there are only a handful of people everywhere and walk for miles, you can absolutely do that. Okaloosa Island is one of those things. I used to run up and down the beach, and, it, and I could tell you it's six miles worth of, uh, worth of beach to, to be able to go back and forth from. And again, there's not a whole lot uh, to do, and this is all on Okaloosa Island in Fort Walton Beach, right next to Destin. All right, and you also have state parks, different condo areas, all that stuff has public access to the beach because uh, they want everybody to enjoy it, to include us locals. All right, number five is there's lots of friendly people around. I know I've already hit this, but really, who's who's miserable on vacation? <laughs> really, uh, it's it's just absolutely great atmosphere uh, for for you to come vacation, for you to live part time live here. It's just just awesome, especially during the summer. And last but not least, there's tons of great outdoor dining, watering holes right there on the water. Uh, there's there's great places that my wife and I go out to that we go specifically during the time for sunset just to see it go over the golf there. Uh, there are great places if you want to go out and have your favorite libation, your favorite drink. There's tons of those, especially down in Destin, and restaurants that are sitting out there. They're not just there because that's a location, it's crappy food. That's, that's not how it works here. Uh, there's some amazing food, great, great views, and there's just really not a bad time to go out there. And during the summer, everything's opened up. You don't have to worry about a heat <laughs> heat lamp or something keeping you guys warm. It's just great. And again, very relaxed, casual atmosphere. And it's just, it's amazing. So that's what all that I have for you for the six reasons why Northwest Florida is the perfect place to live in summer. Or is it for you? Hopefully it is. So if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned here, go ahead and leave it here in the comments below. If you've got your own story about this and you'd like to add some info, I'd love to hear from you. Again, guys, go ahead and leave it here in the comments below. Please keep it positive. And if you are moving to this area, investing in this area, please let myself or my team know. Give us a call, text, email. That number that you do see on the screen in the email is the best way to get a hold of us, so please do reach out. You can text that number. It does work. Um, but we would be happy to help out any way that we can. So again, my name is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group with eXp Realty. We'll see you in our next video. Take care.